Hi everyone, in this problem we're going to evaluate the sine of the arc cosine of one fourth. Let's go ahead and go through it very carefully. Solution. So the arc cosine of one fourth is not like a familiar angle to me. So what we'll do is we'll start by calling this piece theta. So I'm going to let theta be equal to the arc cosine of one over four. And now we can get rid of this inverse notation, this arc cosine notation. The arc cosine is the inverse cosine. So it takes one fourth and it sends it to theta. So to undo that, we have to use the cosine function. So the cosine function takes theta and sends it back to one fourth. And so now what we'll do is we'll draw a triangle for theta using an ancient proverb. <laughs> so Ka toa. Really powerful stuff. So here, uh, cosine is ka, so it's adjacent over hypotenuse. Really beautiful mathematics. So now we can use this to create our beautiful triangle. So here's our triangle, and then here's our theta. And so the adjacent's going to be 1, that's this, this side here. And the hypotenuse uh, will be, here's the 90 degree angle, so the hypotenuse is the one that's opposite of it, so that's this one here. And then we need to find um, this other angle here, which I'll call little b. And so now we can use an ancient theorem, uh, the Pythagorean theorem, to find b. It says that 1 squared plus b squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared, so 4 squared. So that means that uh, 1 plus b squared is equal to 16. Then you can subtract 1 from both sides. So we end up with b squared equals 15. Taking the square root of both sides, we do get a plus or minus, but we only want the plus because b is the length of a side of a triangle, so it can't be negative. So b is equal to the square root of 15. I like to go back in and fill my triangle. This type of thinking comes up in other areas of math, like calculus, and a lot of times you have more complicated expressions, so it's just a good habit to go back in and fill in the triangle when you're done. Okay, now we can finish the question. So this is equal to the sine of theta, right? That's what we started with. We, we called it theta, and now we can use Sokotoa to finish. So it's opposite over hypotenuse. So the opposite is 4. Whoops, opposite, <laughs> the opposite is the square root of 15, opposite the angle, right? And then the hypotenuse is 4. Really bad place uh, to mess up. So it's opposite over hypotenuse. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.